Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to share the CISCO CTP question that are asking in for this. Like the first question was, uh, uh, what are the automation tools in our CISCO? Like what are the uh, what are the automation tools that we are using in our sales force? And the uh, next question is mm, trigger out new and trigger out old concepts. So uh, what is the difference between trigger out new and trigger out old? And then uh, like in the trigger out new, what data are present? And in the trigger out old, what data are present? So the uh, trigger uh, related questions are also there. The basic questions of the trigger. And uh, then they ask uh, like what are the restrictions in the future method? And uh, how to overcome with it? So and like uh, in the future method, there are so many restrictions. Uh, like uh, the uh, the future method returns void, and then they only uh, pass the parameters as a primitive data type. So uh, they ask like uh, the questions was, uh, what are the restrictions in the future method, and how we can overcome from it. And uh, the next question was, if you if you want to pass a list in the parameter of the future method so how can we do it and the uh, next question is uh, security related like uh, uh, how many ways we can share the record or uh, uh, like uh, how we can share the field level security object level security so the, the basic questions are there and then like in what scenario manual saving buttons are not visible on the UI so the next question was like uh, in which scenario we are not able to see the manual saving button on the UI. And next question is uh, if we want to access Apex methods or Apex class through the process builder, so how can we achieve it? And then the next question is uh, where is object history stored in Salesforce? Like uh, uh, all the uh, objects have a uh, like account have the uh, some his like account history then lead have lead history so uh, the question was uh, where we stored the object history in our Salesforce. The next question was uh, so how many invocable methods uh, we can write in one Apex class and uh, mm, yeah that's the question. Uh, which were asked. So, these questions were asked in the interview. This uh, video is very long, so I have made a uh, uh, short video. Hai. And uh, there will be also a part 2 for that. So, where I can also, uh, like, the other questions I uh, part 2 mein cover karungi. So, do let me know in the comment section if you want to answer off for these questions. So, I have a company of interview questions and prepared So, I will cover this part 2 and then I will cover uh, other companies' questions as well. So, if you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe my channel. So, thanks for watching my videos. Jai Hind. Bye bye.